there are two parts of the human brain. One part where it looks after itself, it is self-focused, introspective. It is about self-survival. There's another part that integrates this with the environment, with society, with family and mm. friends. Mm. So there is a part that looks in and there's a part that looks out. Okay. Wow. Now this happens everywhere. Each cell of our body, each cell is actually looking to survive in its own self, but it's also looking how it will interface with other cells. And so every part of the our body is like that, but the brain in particular. Now, uh, how how is this in terms of the hardware and the software? All right. So uh, humans have a brain that is able to look at the consequences of its action. So when like you do something, you know, what will be the outcome? There is what is good, bad, right, wrong, <laughs> choices, consequences. This is all what the cerebral cortex or the higher brain does. And then, like we discussed, there is a lower brain that deals only with food, hunger, thirst, <laughs> anger, emotion, right? So there are two parts. The lower brain is inward looking. It is about self-preservation. It's about it's it's ego and more. It's pure. If you're hungry, it wants food. It doesn't mm. care where you get the food from. If you're thirsty, it wants water. So whatever it wants, it wants it and it wants it now. All right. So this is the inward-looking brain, and there's the outward-looking brain. Now, if you see evolution, and there is a lot that has been uh, written on this, what has happened is normally when things evolve, whatever is lower you know, is controlled by whatever is higher. Normally, there's a control, you know. For example, the spinal cord is under control of the lower brain. If the if there's an instruction given, the spinal cord doesn't have a choice whether to trans, you know. If you say I have to walk, the spinal cord can't say, no, I will not let you, you know, it'll pass that signal. It doesn't have a control. Whereas in the brain, the midbrain I'm talking about, the mammalian or reptilian brain, this actually... You know, it may not block, but it there's a conflict between the two, all right? Between what? Between logic, reason, and emotion, you know? There's a constant conflict. I mean, uh, the suffering of all of mankind is purely because of this, the imbalance between the two, mm. all right? So, suffering happens when reality doesn't meet expectations. Yeah. That's philosophy. Yeah. So, basically... Uh, reality is created by the logical mind, but yes. expectations are created by the emotional mind. Absolutely. Perfect. Hmm. Okay, so perfectly said. Your own reptilian brain yeah. wants the world to be ideal, wants everything that you wish to happen. Yeah. And then your higher brain processes the reality of the world around you. Yeah. And when those two outcomes don't match, that's what creates frustration yes. for you. Yeah. Okay. So that creates anger and that, that, that very often leads to Almost everything, including, the, you know, whether it's addictions or whether it is, you know, mm. uh, behavior that is not completely <laughs> correct as far as society's norms go. So all of this is a conflict between two brains. Both of them are our brains, okay? Uh, but there's a conflict between these two brains. And, of course, the best way out is something that you practice yourself, and that is meditation, okay? Because meditation is the only tool, okay, that brings about harmony between the lower and the higher brain. Mm. It's the only tool available. Now, I am hoping that the digital technology, you know, things like Neuralink may, may be able to do what meditation does. But so this harmony between those two brains means what, biologically speak? Let, let's take an addiction, all right? I may know that alcohol is not good for me. Or I may know that, you know, some other, you know, taking other drugs is not good for me. But the craving for it is so much, your higher brain is telling you it's not good, okay? It completely overrules that, right? So this is all basically electrical transmission and neurochemicals, you know, that that, that are playing with each other, right? So what does meditation do? When you're meditating, what are you doing, right? When you're meditating, uh, there is a silencing of the mind, all right? And the brain waves, so just to let you know, we have brain waves in us, right? So there are different levels of brain brain waves. So when you're concentrating on something, there's actually something called gamma waves. Okay, That is when, say, you're reading a book or you're trying to study something. So your gamma waves are, are there. Like even right now? No, this, this is different. So right now, 
we are in the beta wave phase so when you are talking to somebody see when you are concent right now we are not concentrating when you are reading a book let's say you are doing research on a topic right that time it is <coughs> gamma waves when you are talking to somebody it is beta waves when you are giving a speech or a lecture right now our beta waves are completely active okay you understand the difference between concentration and and uh, interaction now let us say we took a break after this and you know we just sat uh, went out for coffee now our alpha waves will go into them so alpha waves is the little more more relaxed, you know little more relaxed where you aren't uh, you're not sleeping but it is you're relaxed alpha let's say after this you want to take a nap that then you go into what is called the theta wave you know when you theta wave is a wave which is you know the the way you're feeling just before you sleep okay that's theta which by the way is also the wave when you are driving long distances on a highway you know mm. you, actually your theta waves get activated that is why there are accidents because you are sort of pre sleep you know if you are driving on the atal setu you know after for some time you start feeling actually because your theta waves are activated yeah. and the last when you go into sleep it is delta waves deep right? sleep deep sleep is delta waves deep sleep now when you are meditating it's your alpha and theta waves that are active any form of meditation and there's a lot of there are hundreds of papers to show that so your alpha wave is the wave when you are relaxing but alert see the beauty of beauty of meditation it doesn't put you to sleep it calms you but your mind is still alert mm. that is alpha okay and the theta waves is the calming it's silencing out you know the distractions so the beauty of meditation is is these waves okay now again i believe that you know interfacing the brain with computers might be able to bring us yeah. into a state so you know i i know how many hours you spend meditating you know i mean um, uh, you you have a a phenomenal spiritual side to you but that's not humanly possible i mean for everybody to do i mean you know in, in today's world with with this you know how many people can spend an hour meditating in the morning right so sometimes we have to use technology so this is you know i'll give you another example all our diseases and our problem whether it's cardiac neuro everything else is primarily because of lack of oxygen okay in our body hypoxia ischemia ideally when you do pranayam when you do yoga in what are you doing in yoga you are deep breathing oxygen okay and if you do it long enough the oxygen is going under pressure now that is helping you heal and prevent disease but can everybody do pranayam for half an hour one hour no so what do we do we take medical technology we have in a hospital hyperbaric oxygen chambers you must have you must be aware of hyperbaric oxygen a lot of people are using it for anti aging what does hyperbaric oxygen do it pushes oxygen under pressure so in one hour you know so it's easier for people to go into a chamber and breathe oxygen than to do one hour of pranayam one hour of pranayam is difficult okay i try i can't do more than 15 minutes okay what what if you do the pranayam inside the oxygen chamber i think that would be like some a different level only <laughs> So have you understood yeah what our natural systems what our ancient traditions are saying what that pranayam is good for health people can't do it so now we're using technology to do exactly what pr- pranayam is doing ideally meditation is a tool everybody should be doing but if you can't do it what if technology did that for you what if you could create alpha and theta waves in the brain can we speak a little bit more about these waves yeah yeah uh when you say that the brain is vibrating in alpha or gamma I am assuming that there have been scientific studies where they measured the outputs yeah, of absolutely. the brain. Yeah, absolutely. Lots, lots of them. And Hundreds of papers. Yeah. Then categorized those outputs into alpha, beta, gamma, yes, theta, yeah, yeah. and delta. Yeah. Right. Uh, now, for the end user who's listening to this podcast from mm. a practical perspective, mm. uh, what's your advice as a doctor? Mm. Alpha and theta is is a relax is when you when you want to relax, wind down. You know. but you can't go through life living in alpha and theta if you have to study okay if you have to do a job if you have to work on a project if somebody has to do coding when somebody is doing coding an it professional he has to be in a total gamma you know he has to be focusing on what he's doing if he's if he's trying to do a programming or if let's say as a surgeon okay if i'm operating on the brain i can't be in alpha and theta <laughs> you know mm. i have to be in gamma that is concentrated when i'm talking let's say i'm taking a lecture for students I can't be in alpha and theta. I have to be in beta. beta, okay? Because have you understood? Yes. So we need all of these. 
what happens is today's today's life everybody is either concentrating on doing something or in this mode and so we don't we don't take the breaks for alpha we don't take the theta. so you need to have a balance of both okay that's okay so gamma okay so your concentration. brain concentration so your brain is vibrating in the gamma state when you're focused Concent- focused focused on job i would also assume highly productive individuals are able to stay in that gamma state much longer yes correct yeah, so th- so that is attention so your front benchers okay your front benchers they are the more gamma gamma because they concent- they can concentrate you know gotcha. <laughs> is there any way to improve your brain's ability to stay in the gamma state for long um starting first uh sleep okay because they found that unless you have had 8 hours of full sleep you know your uh, attention concentration areas are lesser <clears throat> second uh, exercise again they found that if you exercise regularly um, w- when you're giving attention to things you can do it better then diet of course makes a big difference for your ability uh, for your brain to stay in its gamma state gamma state wow. also <clears throat> although it's not good but things like uh, caffeine coffee and tea will help you you know <laughs> f- focus longer alcohol will, will will put you in a in your alpha and theta state so so these things help you know um caffeine actually focus helps you to uh, focus more on on the things that you have to do so <coughs> then um again meditation is something that's again very useful because you know i'm going to keep coming to meditation because there is nothing better than meditation for actually all of these things you know mm. and um, like they say that when you are completely focused on a job when you're completely into it you sort of get into that uh, you can it can become for you a meditative state as well yeah. you know when you're when, when you're you're not doing it as a job when you're completely and when it's it's just a part of you when you and your work become one you know it's not something you are doing I know I like to put it like that your head your heart and your hands are all in sync the three h's wow okay <laughs> what a fascinating conversation <laughs> hey if you enjoyed today's clip make sure you check out all the other clips we've uploaded on this channel you'll find a clip related to almost every single topic as long as you're willing to search for it